Hello guys, here's a demonstration of my new Turtle Program Platform 2 version 2.0. Um, I'm going to show you how it works. So, it's type platform, and let's say I want to do Dimen uh First of all, without argument, it's going to stop and tell us what to do. Clearly, place turtle facing direction of said platform on left side. Uh, load turtle with materials for the platform if placing torches. Add light source blocks to lot slide 16 so it could be glowstone or anything else that emits light or even more blocks. But the, if it's more blocks, just bear in mind that they'll be above the current surface. Um, and then you give it length plus width. And optionally, if you are using the uh, torch method, uh, you're going to want to specify how many blocks it, you want it to move before it places a torch. It's not the optimal method for doing this, but it's the best I could think of on the fly, and I'll let somebody else out there uh, tell me a good algorithm for that. So hopefully you guys can beat me to the punch on that one get some partial credit. So... What if I tell it to build a, um, oh yeah, just fill your turtle first. Um, anyways, so let's say if we do platform and I tell it uh, 10 by 4. It should come back and tell me there's no materials that I didn't put any in there. Okay, now let's, let's put a little bit in there. And if I press a key, it'll find that and start building with that. Now, I've modified it also so that if it, uh, when it detects a mob, it does this psycho attacking routine. It attacks down, forward, left, and right until there's nothing in the way. And then it goes forward. This way it doesn't get stuck. stuck. Uh, previously, it could actually be held in place if mobs were on the left and the right holding it in place. Not that they can actually hold, but they weren't getting attacked, so... And the same routines that stopped that are just as effective for gravels. see that he uh, he'll go through that gravel no problem trying to attack the um, skeleton. See, you know, that's a weird bug. I don't know what to do about it. The uh, skeleton is just in such an angle that it, it's really holding the turtle back, but the turtle can't attack diagonally, so the turtle just has to wait for it to wander under it. At least you know your turtle's not stuck because you see it dancing. All you have to do is help it along.
and he's sticking to his build parameters. Just calling him a gravel I didn't realize was outside my build parameters. Okay, so now he's done. Let's say, let's have him put some of that. Okay, so in order to tell it to use that, these this light source as a torch, um, so I'm going to tell him to move right, I mean turn right, and then let's go platform, we're just going to do a small one, 8 by 8 and let's say every time he moves five blocks, he'll place the light There's a way to detect if it's a block or if it's uh, actually a mob. I mean, as I understand it, Computer Craft does not have a mob detector. But there's, there's probably a way to do that, and then I could stop this unnecessary psycho dance. <clears throat> And of course, the only reason he's actually dancing is since he's replacing blocks. If I had him build a fresh platform out over the void where there was nothing in particular, then uh, he wouldn't be dancing. I'll quickly switch that out for torches. You see, he'll place those just fine too. And let's make him run out quicker. If at all possible. I should create an air condition where he runs out. Yeah, see, he ran out. So. If you gave him gravel, that actually counts as placing it, even though it falls away. I could probably fix that. Oh, well, there's a new bug. It's a, for, he can't place a torch.
Search Interval 2 is not very realistic. why he does that dancing is if you were having him build a platform say across a ravine that's near a roof or something he, what he's really doing is he's going up to see, and he's looking around to see if there's stuff that he needs to dig so he can go backwards and actually place the torch is light. So, there you go. Hope this helps you guys. And as I've stated in the forums, if you have suggestions how I can improve it further, uh, let me know. Don't just give me ideas. I have those ideas. I really need uh, help maybe solving the glaring issues, like suggested code fragments. All right. Thank you. Bye.